Okay, so this is usually how the process starts for me. Hi, my name is Latrice. I am the lighting designer for the hair journey. And I just wanted to take you through the process of what I do to create a lighting design for a show. Um, so one of the first things that I'm doing is reading. It's usual that when I start this process, I have to do this three times, meaning read this three times. The first time I'm just reading just to read, you know, reading for enjoyment of it, you know, just to read nothing extra. The second time I'm going through and I'm looking for maybe some lighting notes that might have been said in there. So, you know, sometimes they may say, oh, it got extra bright or oh, it got really dark or I can see the red coming over there or there's fireworks, you know, so I'm looking for little cues and tips like that. So that's what I'll go through. I usually have my notepad, which is beside me. I have my notepad here that I can just jot down those notes the next time I read it. Then I read it again for the third time. The third time I'm reading it and I'm just reading it to catch and see if there's any other moments that I want to highlight um, in the show lighting wise um, it may not necessarily say something about lighting but it may be a moment that needs some special attention to it with lighting um, and so I'll go through for that third time to offer an Quiet on me, for some of the things that have been going on here tonight <laughs> Okay, so here I am on the stage, um, and usually there is a moment when I have to focus the lights. What focusing the lights mean is that I have to take and stand in front of the light. There's usually someone behind where the actual light is, and they are moving it to uh, basically put it where I need it to be. So that's called focusing. I'm here on stage, if I wanted someone to focus the light on me, usually I would stand where I want them to focus it, and I'll kind of give them the directions to maybe cut off the light here because the light is usually bigger than me okay so the light is bigger than me so i usually want to focus it by making it smaller than what it is sometimes so i may tell them to give me a cut up here to my hand um and then maybe give me a cut to my hand to the side and the same to that side and then i may have them maybe do something at the bottom if it's needed so that's kind of just how focusing does. You do it from the stage and you usually have other people working with you to actually maneuver the lights as needed. And I get to take everything that I wrote on paper and translate it to the stage. So right now what you're looking at is a lighting board. So these keys and tools here control what happens on stage. So I can do different colors, um, I can do effects and things to make the, the lights bounce and all that. And this is where I do this. So I'm going to kind of pick up so you guys can see that that's the stage there. I have a little window so I can see out to what's happening. So right now, I just have just a little bit of light up on stage. This is me controlling it. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, my name is Latrice and what I do is lighting design. I basically help to enhance what the actors look like on stage. I also help to make sure that everyone in the audience is in tune with what's happening on stage. So sometimes lights can make you feel a certain way. It can make you feel scared. It can uh, make you feel alive. It can make you feel like going to a party. Um, it can also make you feel sad. And so my job as the lighting designer is to work with all the other tools in the play. Um, just as I said before, working with the costumes, um, working with the choreography that may be happening in a show, um, and that's, that's including the dancing, and um, just working with sound, if there is wind or if there is rain, um, what does it look like lighting wise if it's supposed to be raining outside. So these are all the things that I have to take into um, my planning session when I am creating lighting design. I hope you enjoyed this. Please come see the hair journey. It's gonna be amazing.